So I understand you guys have just made a pretty big decision about LA Comic Con this year. Tell me what have you decided and how did you come to that decision? You know, the governor's office had to issue some guidelines that related to events and conventions. You know, we've been moving forward in the hope that when some guidelines came out, we would be able to work with them. And the guidelines came out and the guidelines were basically, there are no guidelines. Um, and so without guidelines, we can't have a plan approved and without a plan, we can't do a show. So what we're announcing is that we're, we're canceling the show in 2020. We're moving to September 24th to the 26th of 2021, which was the date that we had on the calendar for the 2021 show. We didn't want to throw in the towel until it was clear from the, from the government, from the state, from the county, that we just couldn't do a, sh a safe show. And so we just kept doing everything we needed to do, finding talent, signing talent, bringing on exhibitors. We had to, at some point, we had to put tickets on sale. You know, you get to a point in the life of any event where you have to start selling tickets, even though we didn't know for 100% sure if we could do the event. What happens now? Do, do you begin the refund process? Do you begin the rollover process? What happens, yeah. what are next steps? Uh, on Wednesday, an email will go out to every single person who's bought tickets, basically saying, um, if, if you want to keep your tickets, you know, it's like sort of click here to roll over, click here for a refund. It's, it'll be that simple. Let's switch gears for a second, because we have to talk about something positive. Yes. What can we look forward to for next year? Do you have the dates already lined up and yes. anybody who is already signed up to attend? We had announced um, last week that Frank Miller, the comic legend, was coming. He's going to be coming next year. Um, we were actually going to announce this week um, as part of the ticket sales process that uh, Zachary Levi and Tom Welling just signed contracts to come. And again, knowing what was going on with the dates, they, they've agreed if we can't do it this year, they're coming next year. So they're coming next year. But yeah, it was, it was we had a lot of fun new stuff going on. And, and, um, you know, and that was the challenge for everybody is, right? You're trying to make plans, but we live in a time where you can't really make plans. So we just did the best we could. We were doing what we do. We wanted to have a great show and let people come together and have fun and buy cool stuff. And, you know, we can't do it in December. We're going to do it in September. Um, this was our 10th anniversary year. We hope to be here for generations. So, uh, so LA Comic-Con is here to stay. Well, good news for you, Chris. I was supposed to be speaking at Comic-Con this year and like hosting a panel, but don't worry, I will be available for next year at Comic-Con. So um, just, you feel free to tell your friends. <laughs> Add that to the press release.